What is up everybody? Um, got some exciting news today as you can tell by the uh, sticker here. Um, made a new purchase and I think you all will like it. It's a 1989 Chevy V3500 uh, 454 automatic ambulance. It's four wheel drive, whole works. Everything on the ambulance's factory works as it should. Um, this is going to be the camper. Got plenty of storage. Um, got that here. It's already converted. This is uh, the shop for right now. Hold all the fluids, uh, short power cord, tarps if needed. Let's see. The doors in the back still work. All of the uh, lights work. Um, the blacked out ones also work, but they're blacked out because of Laws stating I cannot have red lights that flash. Um, it is going to be the tow rig. It's going to pull the TJ around, which is right over there. Oh, we got another storage cabinet here. Let's see. Oh, yes. As you can see, plenty of storage. We've got another storage cabinet. Got the uh, camping rug there. And then all the electrical. Looks like fun. Everything works though, so keep our fingers crossed. And then our last storage cabinet on the outside. A propane ladder for pulling the awnings out up top. All that good stuff. All right, and we'll move on to the inside here. Once again, as I stated, it is already converted. So people who had this took great care of it. Good friends of mine. Door opens nicely. Then we come up in here and uh, got a TV, microwave, futon bed. Um, plenty of room for sleeping, plenty. And just, just click down and then you're in sleep mode got curtains everywhere and you have pass-throughs to the pantries so all that works and i gotta turn the power on so we have power in right here but got another pass-through to the garbage can and the other pantry here all the cooking stuff is in there. Let me get this thing powered up for you all. The original siren box. We got a shore power plug here, 120 volts. The interior, everything is operational. Um, all the switches work as should, and then that will give us power into the box as well as in the cab. And let's see what we got here. Like I said, the people who own this were good friends of mine and they took great care of it. Look at that. Now we got power and then we throw on another action light here. You got some bright fluorescence. Um, and this will all run off of shore power. Plenty of storage space above the bed here. All the fans work as should. Um, that 12 volt outlet here is also on a switch. So, got that. We got our AC unit. Um, just run it through the pass through for now. I want to do something more permanent in the future but um, moving on I know I already showed you all this but also 
all the lights and the storage compartments work. It was not working earlier because the batteries were not turned on. Thinking about up there where the light bar used to mount, putting a generator up there, I feel like that would be perfect for boondocking. Just carry some spare fuel on you and be good to go. Let's uh, look at the hood popped here. You can see a masterpiece of the Chevrolet motor underneath this hood. Carbureted 454, still retains all the factory emissions, everything like that. Pretty clean for its age, especially being an 89. Um, let's see. Uh, like I said, it's four wheel drive, the locking hubs. Sounds really nice sitting here idling. Um, I'll start it up for you all in a moment here. Trying to see if there's anything else I need to go over. Um, let's see here. Let me turn on our floodlights. As you see, they make for a great work light at nighttime. Got two on that side. Now these ones haven't been converted to LEDs yet, but they're still bright. Two on this side. And then you got two on that side. So plenty of work light. Um, you break your rig, it's nighttime, you're at the campground, you need to fix it, you got the light there to do it. Um, trying to think of anything I'm missing, guys. Uh, as far as I know, I've went over pretty much everything. Um, this is a classic. It's only got 66,000 miles on me. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't want to lie to you all. Let's see what the odometer says. Yeah, 66,000 miles. Very good for being an 89. I don't know if y'all were interested in seeing more of it. Um, be plenty more to come I'm sure uh, I'm gonna revamp some of the stuff in here but as of right now it runs great plenty of sleeping room all that good stuff we'll get it started up here just so y'all can hear it sounds good And then uh, we'll wrap this video up. Now it is carbureted, so it's nothing new. Doesn't get the great, the greatest gas mileage, that's for sure. But it's a uh, It'll tow anything you put behind it. So this is going to be the tow rig for the PJ. Um, if there's anything else y'all would like to see about it, comment, let me know. I'm going to make a video on that or if you're interested in certain things, I can show you over them. So we'll shut it down. Uh, it's got dual tanks, 20 gallon tanks. I mean, everything works. It's nothing new, but it runs, it tows, and it's something to sleep in, and you wake up in the morning actually comfortable in the heat or the cold. So this is camper now. I'm trying to get some good far away pictures for y'all. Like I said, it's nothing special, but it is an 89, so it's a classic. All right, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Uh, 
like comment subscribe do whatever you need to do that'll keep you on this channel there's plenty more interesting stuff to come thank you